Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I'd be able to send videos like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can purchase it and 1,700 of its pre-owned friends on our website, thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell pre-owned luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. And since this is a current production model for model year 2018, if we don't have one pre-owned, give my buddy Claudio at our Walnut Street Boutique a call, and he can hook you up and sell you one from the current collection. The timepiece on my wrist is part of the 2018 comeback series of watches for Breitling, the Navitimer 8, the first new collection created entirely under CVC Capital Partners' ownership and newly minted Breitling CEO Georges Kern, formerly of IWC. And you can see a little bit of that IWC family resemblance here. Now, the watch, entirely in stainless steel, is actually the limited edition with a few key distinctions about its dial and bezel. It's one of a thousand pieces created for 2018. So on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can get a good sense of the proportion as well as outright dimension of the watch. 43 millimeters across the round of the case from 9 to 3. It's not excessively thick, 14.3 millimeters, and from lug to lug, a manageable 50.9. You will find that this one wears easily on a smaller wrist. I would say you probably would call the lower limit 14 centimeters, maybe 14 and a half if your wrist is more round for wearing this one comfortably. The lug spacing is broad, as you'll find. This one is designed for modern era straps, 23 millimeters, is the size of the standard strap, and you'll have many Breitling OEM as well as aftermarket options. This one is high spec, a combination of medium rectangular scale alligator leather in a medium brown with an aviator style contrasting stitch. You can see it uses folded edges. It is lightly bolstered down at center, and it has a calfskin underlay. A new Breitling pin buckle with a little bit of a flare, and you can see the polished bevel and the side profile of the buckle actually matches the profile of the lugs. So design parallelism, we love that. You can see that the case design, we'll give ourselves a bit more aperture and get close now that the watch is off the wrist. The case design is pretty simple. It's a satin grained sheer mid case with stubby, tapered, and rather sharply downward pointed lugs designed to fit better on smaller wrists. That's part of the new Breitling design ethos. Make big watches wear small and get rid of the giant watches in all but a few novelty cases. You can see on the crown side, it is a screw down crown with the new Breitling B logo, pump style pushers. The watch has 100 meter water resistance and you can also see that polish is used sparingly on the bevels of the lugs, on the bezel itself, as well as on the crown and the pushers. The rest of it is principally satin and that goes for the dial as well. Let's see if I can show the dial to good effect. There is a luminous effect to the metallic finish of this dial. It's almost like a stainless steel grain that splays out radially. Before we dive into the dial though, take a look at the bezel. This is the only one of the Navitimer 8 collection that actually features calibration on the bi-directional rotating bezel. All of the rest feature the triangular index and nothing else on the bezel, such that you can really only use it to approximate to about 15 minutes. And uh, I'll give you an example of that right here, just to show you what I mean. This is what the conventional Navitimer 8 bezel looks like. A little bit of a vintage tribute in a sense, but not to the calculator bezel Navitimers, rather the Huit Aviation Division products, which included cockpit instruments from the 1930s, but this is the one to own if you actually want to use that bezel to time anything. Now moving inboard, it has a dial that communicates Breitling's current Navitimer 01 styling language. That is to say, the Navitimer 8 B01 has tone-on-tone -tone dials, whereas the Valju 7750 powered chronographs are going to have monotone dials. This one has a combination of an anthracite and a silver grain. You also note that there's a lovely lime green to the Luminova and a vintage inspired aviators railroad track outboard. Now it does have 
a wonderfully crisp action to its chronograph, and you can see all of the sub-registers are sunken to give you another plane of focus with their own miniature railroad tracks and a minimally calibrated constant seconds at 9 o'clock so that you're able to focus on chronograph minutes and hours. There is a date window judiciously placed at 4.30 so it doesn't break up the symmetry of the dial. It wouldn't look quite right taking up the index space at 3 or 6, so I approve of what was done here. There will be a loom shot at the end of the video. I mentioned the B01 caliber, and sure enough, here it is, Breitling's in-house movement since 2009. Breitling has been making its own chronograph caliber, though an early pioneer in chronograph design during the 20th century, especially the first quarter of the 20th century. Today, Breitling watches generally have been powered by ETA or Salita calibers, and thus the new regime decided that when they do have a manufacturer movement, they're going to put a display case back over it in many instances. Here you can see Breitling going a little bit IWC under Georges Kern rather than individual numbering. You can see that this watch is 1 out of 1,000 in its limited series. I guess that's good because it prevents anyone from getting the unlucky numbers. The timepiece also features 47 joules, automatic winding, 70 hour power reserve, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. And as you can see, the watch features a column wheel function selector with a very crisp action, one of the best, and it has a vertical clutch. The vertical clutch allowing the watch to engage without any jump or stagger to the seconds hand, but also if you like to have central seconds, you'll find that because of the vertical clutch, you can just leave it running with no additional wear or tear or shortened maintenance interval. If you want to run your chronograph continuously, you want a vertical clutch. And it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer, so quite precise and you'll note chronometer certified on both the rotor as well as the case back. It features hacking or stop seconds as well as a quick set cycler for the date. It's a handsome and compelling watch. The only real outstanding question is whether the Navitimer appellation fits. Some think this is a wonderful neo-chronomat. Perhaps this watch should have just been called Breitling Chronomat and people would have loved it. Compared to a circular slide rule Navitimer, some folks say this isn't the right look, but I'll also say this, Breitling is correct to point out that historically, Navitimers have not always been mechanical chronographs or calculator bezels, and they've got a fair point. This is a handsome watch that wears well with a handsome and technologically adept in-house caliber. You can see it and decide for yourself on our website. And we're back with the Breitling Navitimer 8 B01 Chronograph 43 Limited Edition. As you can see, the watch is quite fetching in the dark, gloriously green, plenty legible. You can see this one and make it yours by the light of day by checking it out on our website.